to assign loads select everything and go to assign we start by, by area loads uniform and date we want it to be 5 and make sure that replace existing loads is selected then apply as you see here the dead load has been added here now we assign the life load we go again but before that we select everything or just click on control A then go to assign area loads uniform and life the value is 3 then apply as you see here the number shown here is a life load to toggle between the views of dead load and life load just go to display show object load assigns area and select dead and notice that minus 3 will be replaced by minus 5 To assign loads onto beams we select all of the beams so we have a variety of ways of selection but in this case we use this method go to select and properties select properties and frame sections now we can hit beam and select now all beams are selected now go to assign frame loads and distribute it the value of the of the load is 15 it's dead okay the grid can be turned off from view tab To replicate the floor many times, you select the floor by clicking Ctrl A, then go to Edit, Replicate, and in this case, you want the translation in the Z direction. So the increment is minus 3, and the number we want for floors. Then OK. And that's it. This is how to make many floors out of one. To assign support, we select all the columns in the ground floor. Now we go to assign, joint, restraints, and we select it as, we set it as hinged, then OK. As you see here, all columns have supports now. Now we define diaphragms to account for wind loads. So we select everything go to assign joint constraints define joint constraints and from here we select diaphragm and we add new constraint name it as diaph1 it's okay and assign a different diaphragm constraint to each different selected Z level then OK now select it and click on on, on apply then OK
you can check whether the diaphragms has been generated or not from assign joint constraint and you see them here the next step is analyzing 